What's up everybody? This is Ajax Death back for another review. Today I'm reviewing Ticks. A group of teens are on a wilderness retreat, not knowing that the woods they're camping in have become infested with mutated blood-sucking ticks. This film was written by Brent Friedman and directed by Tony Randall, starring Rosalind Allen, Amy Dolenz, and Seth Green. Dad, please don't make me do this. Tyler, it's for your own good. So we start the movie off by meeting Tyler, who's in a car with his dad, who's dropping him off under a bridge in the middle of the fucking city. He's just like, get out. And his dad just breaks out like a bitch. Like, fuck it. So then Tyler starts tripping out, like right out of the gate, until he runs into Carlton as a gangster. Now that's just not believable. Dude, that dog looks fucking homeless. After a couple of exchanges and some free throws, we meet the rest of the main cast. We meet Holly, Dee Dee, Rome, and Melissa. Only if you drive to Mexico, he says, and stay there. Do I look Mexican to you? So now we have Clint Howard. Uh, top notch. Who's a tweaker and a pothead who spills some chemicals that drips onto a tick sack. Here's where your mutated fucking tick story comes in. So the group stops at some truck stop where Melissa gets creeped on by one of the locals. Hi there, cutie. <laughs> what brings you to our neck of the woods? Did you see dude's teeth? It looks like fucking tree bark. Now, how careless is this motherfucker to leave an open bear trap laying on the fucking floor? And teabagged by a soggy tick sack. Welcome to Camp Madeline. Because we can't find a cooler name. Get it off, Tyler. It's stuck. You're hurting me. Stop it. I'm sorry. I'm trying to get it off. So Melissa and Tyler are out in the forest, and Melissa gets attacked by a big soggy sack. They run back to the camp, and they tell everybody what happened, and they don't take him seriously, of course. And Creeper Jerry's back. Marijuana. Did he just say marijuana? So we see Clint Howard again, and he ends up shooting himself in the leg. <laughs> Meanwhile, the kids are back at the camp creating this big ass fire while the adults are trying to get busy. So then Homeless Dog gets bitten by a tick and screams like a bitch, and then goes into a seizure. Look, I'm out of here, man. I've had enough of this bonanza bullshit. So Carlton's like, fuck that. He tells Tyler, he's like, I'm out. I'm kicking rocks, bitch. He fucking goes, and then Tyler just bitches out. It looks like Melissa has a thing for short redheads. <laughs> so now we see a veterinarian find a giant tick inside a homeless dog. So we're finding out that these are giant mutant weed wood ticks that can make you hallucinate? So then Carlton gets bit by a tick in the leg, punches the dick off of the thing, stabs it, and then just tosses it into the woods. So the adults ask Melissa to take Kelly fishing. Kelly, do you want to go fishing? Wow, that's a pretty fucking stereotypical question. What's next? You're going to ask her if she's good at math too? They end up catching a dead cop. Meanwhile, Dee Dee and Rome stumble upon Clint Howard's tweaker den of fucking mutated ticks. Clint Howard shows up again, and a giant tick bursts from his face onto Dee Dee. Holy shit, talk about a killer zit. So now Carlton's laying in the middle of the forest, tripping balls from his tick bite, and Creeper Jerry from the fucking truck stop and his boss, Sir show up and just start kicking the fuck out of Carlton. So Carlton ends up getting shot. Meanwhile, the weed field that's right there goes up in fucking flames. 
So now everybody shows up at the cabin, including Creeper Jerry and Sir. Carlton bangs on the door, comes inside all jacked up on fucking steroids, lets everybody know that Sir and Jerry tried to kill him, and then he dies. Then there's this big scuffle, and fucking Sir shoots Charles in the fucking leg, and then Jerry kicks the fuck out of Rome. Now Carlton's body starts freaking the fuck out, twitching and shit, going into a fucking seizure. Now this whole time, I'm waiting for his body to start twitching in the form of the Carlton dance. Didn't happen. And then, a giant, super raging steroid fucking weed tick breaks out of Carlton's body. Super giant weed tick jumps up onto fucking Sir's back and takes his ass from behind. Through all this scuffle, Tyler ends up making it to the van after exploding some fucking ticks. Gets in the car, saves Rome's life, ends up going back, exploding super fucking weed tick. They all get back in the van and drive to the city, where it is revealed that one soggy tick sack has survived. Sequel? Alright, so now for the things that I liked. I really liked the effects. I liked the look of the ticks, and the acting was actually decent. And Amy Dolan's is always great to look at. Like, I remember drooling over her while watching Miracle Beach. But that's a whole nother story. I was 16 when this movie came out, and I remember loving it. But, just like condoms from the year 1993, this movie just didn't age well. Now for all the things that I disliked. Now, as much as I like Alfonso Ribeiro, and how much he's a badass, just a wrong casting choice in this situation. It's like the casting director just said, we need a black guy. He'll work. Just, that's not the case, man. That's not how you cast a film. And the story. The story was really fucking lacking. I mean, come on, man. Fucking weed juice drips on a fucking tick sack, birthing fucking mutant ticks that make you hallucinate. Well, it was the 90s. And the fact that the ticks only killed Clint Howard, Sir, Jerry, and Carlton was pretty fucking lame. Now, I'd be lying if I said I didn't enjoy watching the movie. I did. I had fun watching it. But it's not something that I'd go back to over and over and over again for entertainment. I'd give this movie a strong 2.5 out of 5. Alright guys, so that's going to do it. So make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Share the fuck out of this video anywhere you can, man. Everything helps. Until next time, stay smart, stay clean, keep the dream. Don't let the man get you down. Because if he does, he might take a soggy tick sack, shove it up your ass, and you might start hallucinating. Wait, that might be fun though.